Yes, Miss Kaplan is here, but she's upstairs resting at this point. I, look, I really don't want to disturb her. I have to see for myself if hey, she's there. Come on, man, have a heart. I told you, she's exhausted. Huh? Look, I don't want to bother her, but it's my job if I don't see that she's yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, officer, I'll tell you, hey, 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 listen. If you want to see Miss Kaplan, all you have to do is step outside here, look upstairs, and you can see her sitting in the window looking out. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll check it out. Thank you. Oh, man, you got you in the nick of time. That's Kelly sitting up there. I know. I know, because I knew Eden wasn't home. Wait a minute, how'd you know that? I ran into Kane and Eden in the tunnel. Right? Anyway, I think we've got the officer convinced. Yeah, well, let's hope so. Let's hope so, man. Well, 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 well. Is they long with the vultures together? What are you here for, Lionel? Fresh carrion or what? But, uh, try, try. Not to say anything you'll regret, which I know is tough for you. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Listen, I brought you a gift, a temporary gift. In case you have to get in touch with Eden, it's a cellular phone. It can't be traced, whereas your phones can be tapped. Yeah. Wait a minute. You coming here bearing gifts for me? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I met Kane and Eden in the tunnel. And they asked me if I'd help them get through my place, so... You did? Yeah. I never could resist a plea from a lovely lady. What's in it for you, Lionel? Cece, uh, sometimes it's just the satisfaction of having helped someone. I know that's an alien emotion to you, but not to some of us. I suppose I have to thank you now, huh? You don't have to thank me. I know I don't have to. I want to. Thank you. There are times that I've misjudged you. Not many, but a few. Well, coming from you, that's uh, quite an admission. In any case, thanks. Thanks. In that case, you're welcome. <laughs>